The Fundamental Principles of Karma by Annie Besant, read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. The Fundamental Principles of Karma In order to understand karma, the student must begin with a clear view of certain fundamental principles, from the lack of which many remain constantly bewildered, asking endless questions which cannot find full solution without the solid laying of this basis. The fundamental conception on which all later right thinking on karma rests is that it is law. Law eternal, changeless, invariable, inviolable. Law which can never be broken, existing in the nature of things. Informed theosophists say, you must not interfere with his karma. But whenever a natural law is working, you may interfere with it just so far as you can. You do not hear a person say solemnly, you must not interfere with the law of gravitation. It is understood that gravitation is one of the conditions with which one has to reckon, and that one is perfectly at liberty to counteract any inconvenience it may cause by setting another force against it, by building a buttress to support that which otherwise would fall to the ground under the action of gravitation, or in any other way. When a condition in nature incommodes us, we use our intelligence to circumvent it, and no one ever dreams of telling us that we must not interfere with or change any condition which we dislike. We can only interfere when we have knowledge, for we cannot annihilate any natural force, nor prevent it from acting. But we can neutralize, we can turn aside its action, if we have at command another sufficient force. And while I will never abate for us one jot of its activity, it can be held up, opposed, circumvented, exactly according to our knowledge of its nature and working, and the forces at our disposal. Karma is no more sacred than any other natural law. All laws of nature are expressions of the divine nature, and we live and move within them but they are not mandatory. They are forces which set up conditions amid which we live, and which work in us as well as outside of us. We can manipulate them, we understand them, and as our intelligence unfolds, we become more and more their masters, until the man becomes superman, and material nature becomes his servant. <laughs>